tuna burgers are the best, even or especially when the tuna comes from a can. Yes, celebrate the tin. Food from a can is celebrated in many parts of the world, so celebrated that the anchovies and tuna in Spain have gorgeous artwork on their can and what is inside is delicious. And on the west coast of Canada, the wild salmon is canned right there on the boat. It is so fresh, so good, so pink, better than anything else you can get anywhere really. So in the spirit of all things delicious in a can, I'm gonna make some canned tuna burgers with a little pickle on top. It's a quick cucumber pickle, delicious. Use an English cucumber, make sure it's well washed, and a horizontal vegetable peeler. Hold on to one end and just take strips off. The idea here is to capture some of that lovely green, because we want to pile them on top of our burgers. Just carry on until you're well into the seeds. Then move to the other side. Sometimes I discard that top piece, that little strip of dark green isn't as beautiful, but it's good to snack on. This is kind of what happens when you start getting low. It starts to shred. You're left with this interesting shape. So take the ribbons, put them in a little bowl, and I'm gonna show you how to make a quick pickle. This is just a quick pickle, nothing that takes months on the shelf. Some white vinegar into a larger jar, white sugar, and just a little touch of water. Okay, So simple, shake it up. And pour this mixture over the cucumbers. But before I do that, I'm just gonna add a little sea salt to the cucumbers, just to pull out a little bit of the moisture. Okay, just pour this on top. And just leave it for just a little while. Quick pickle. Meanwhile, let's make some tuna burgers from a can. I'm gonna use some white beans, cannellini beans, um, also from a can, drained and rinsed. And the star of the show, canned tuna. Also drained some lemon zest. We're gonna go in the Japanese direction here. I'm gonna add some pickled ginger as well, which adds great flavor. And let's just add some juice from this zested lemon. Squeeze, I'm gonna say about half of the lemon as well, not too, too much. We want these burgers to hold together. And a little hit of onion. Green onion, take the root ends off. And just chop roughly through the whites and the pale green. And I have some nice chives here, so why not a few of these? You can just break these right in to the food processor and a pinch of salt and pepper. Lovely. I'm gonna add just a touch of mayonnaise just to pull everything together. Just a rounded teaspoon. Such a pretty burger. All right, spoon this into a bowl so we can make some patties. 
Okay, before I get my hands into this situation, I'm gonna put some olive oil in my warm fry pan. Maybe crank up the heat a little bit. Something for frying. Dig right into the mixture. You could make little sliders or bigger burgers, depending on the kind of party you're having tonight. They come together so easily. Yeah. So pretty. I love the chives in there, the little flecks of green. Okay. Before they fry, let's flour them up. That will just give them a little bit of a crispy brown outer shell. Carefully dip them in, kind of schnitzel style. I'll just do two at a time. So we have white bean, tuna, chives, green onion, and ginger. And if you opened up your cupboard and just saw beans and tuna, you'd think you'd have nothing for dinner. But oh no. While these are browning, I'm gonna make some wasabi mayo. And as the name suggests, it's just wasabi mixed with mayo. And we all know that wasabi packs some serious heat. So there's just a little bit here. I'm sure everyone has their own little wasabi story to share. Yeah, I clearly remember eyes watering and slapping the table. Okay. Beautiful. So we are gonna celebrate the humble canned tuna burger by plating it restaurant style. First off, so take a little wasabi mayo, dab it on and just right across the plate. Oh yeah. Take your burger and Lay it down, then a tangle of cucumber pickle. And then finish with some white and black sesame seeds. Oh my God. Hello. Or take a bun and tangle the cucumber right on top. And some wasabi mayo on the bun. Kind of looks like tartar sauce, if you didn't know any better. Dive right in. This is a beauty. You will never look at canned tuna the same again. Who would have thought a can of tuna could become such fancy food? So open up your cupboard. I know tuna's in there. Simplify or fancify.